Time to settle the score in the great game of baseball today, folks. Jeannie Zelasco here with Steve Fiziok for 2K Sports. We've got an exhibition matchup on hand, and the Harbaugh Central crew is already arguing about who's going to come out on top. Can you feel it? That is pride in this team as they represent the United States of America in the Baseball Classic. I can feel it because Team USA is heavily favored in the Baseball Classic as these kids come in to represent their national pastime. And as we all know, the USA is the home of the major leagues, right? The American and National Leagues featuring 30 of the most competitive clubs in the world. Actually, 29 of those clubs are in the USA oh, if you take right. the Toronto Blue Jays <laughs> into account. Many of those clubs have sent some of their best homegrown talent here today. And that'll do it from here at Hardball Central. Now it's time for baseball at Shy Park in Philadelphia. John Miller and Hall of Famer Joe Morgan will be calling the game. Guys? All right, Jeannie. This ballpark opened in 1909 as we take a good look at Scheib Park, Philadelphia. 2K Sports brings you another edition of exciting Major League Baseball action from this baseball landmark. Exhibition Baseball coming up next. Tonight, it's Team USA taking on La República Dominicana. Welcome, everyone, to our coverage of Major League Baseball. This is John Miller, along with my longtime colleague and the Hall of Famer, Joe Morgan. Okay, Joe, we're just about ready for the first pitch of the game, and it's the team takes the field. What do you think is going to be the key for them in this one today? Well, I love to watch Eric Chavez play third base. I mean, this guy is a great defensive player. Everyone thinks about him as a superstar hit. Soriano is over, and he puts it away for the out. Now and here's how they look on defense. Two, Garrett Jeter. Base is empty, two down. First pitch to him. Eager there, and he's behind no balls and two strikes. Let's see what he wants to do now. No balls, two strikes. A lot of different ways he can go here. There's a swing and a fly ball down the line and left. Ramirez is there, and he makes the catch to retire the side. No runs, no hits, and no one left on. Now we'll go to the bottom of inning number one, and we have no score. Roy Halladay will be today's starting pitcher for them. He was a one game winner last year. Roy Halliday will be taking the mound for them in this game. He's been bothered by a shoulder injury. There's a swing and a rocket toward short. And his throw gets him. One away. Now batting. That was a nice throw by the shortstop. He wings it over the first to get the hitter out. Now let's take a look at the batting order. David Ortiz is hitting third in the order. First, there's a swing and a ground ball. A Rod has got it. And he throws the first in time for out number two. Now that third base. Here's how they stack up defensively. Two outs, nobody on. He kicks, he throws. Had him reaching for that one. Strike one. There's a swing and a line drive to center field. Damon is in his tracks as he puts this one away. Then they're gone in short order. After one, then we have no score. The big hitters, power hitters, the middle of the batting order coming out. Ken Griffey. There's a swing and a long high drive. Hit deep to right center field. Gone! A home run! Back. Junior base. can still get the job done, and he showed it right there. He's been injury prone lately, but everyone knows that he's one of the greatest power hitters this game has ever seen. Well, they try to throw him a change up and get him out in front, but he stays back and hammers it. I mean, that looks to me like he somehow knew that change up was coming and the pitcher tipped it off or he guessed. I don't know what it was. Well, he looked like he knew what was coming anyway. Base is empty with. Nobody out. There's a swing and a bullet towards the hole. And that's a base head as it gets down in front of him. Coming to back. Derek Lee steps up to the plate. 
Well, last season he had just one home run. He's got a 501 career. And he sends this one in the air towards center. And that gets down for a base hit. The throw to second. Not quite in time, and he's in there at second. Coming to bat. John, that's three straight hits he's surrendered. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. And he sends this one in the air towards center. Tavares makes the catch to retire his man one down. Eric Chavez comes to the plate. Last season he had just two home runs all year. Life. There's a swing and a rocket towards short. Over to second for one. And two. A double play. The Americans get a run on the homer and take the lead. Now we'll move on to the bottom of the second. The best. One to nothing. The middle of the order, the four, five, six spots coming up next. Now there's a swing, a long high drive, hit deep to center fielder. And this ball game is tied up. We're all even on that big home run. Let's see this one again at KCAP. It was a cutter. This isn't a bad pitch. The hitter just puts a great swing on. Pitch was down in the zone. And usually the pitcher feels pretty secure down in the zone, but this guy apparently is a pretty good low ball hitter. Yeah, John, you got to give him a lot of credit for being able to get underneath that pitch. First pitch to it. Swings and shoots this one towards the gap in right center field. Off the wall on a hop. Miguel Tejada Short gets a turn here. He didn't have any home runs last season. He didn't have any RBIs last season. Swings and lines this one back up the middle. And that gets down for a base hit. The throw to third. Vladimir Guerrero steps in. Last season he had just three home runs. That ball is swung on and drilled down the line and left. That one is deep. Does it have enough? And foul. On the ground to third. There's one. Back to first and not in time. Not quite a double play that time. He goes the short way to get the lead runner at second, but they're unable to get the back in. John, let's see if they try and go for a steal of second base here and try to get a couple of guys in scoring position. Has him. Out front as he swings and misses. Strike one. Here's the swing and a fly ball hit medium deep. Might be enough to get him in. Crawford is over and he makes the catch for the out. He gets good wood on this one, but it hangs up long enough for the left fielder to get there without much. Swung on and hit in the air to right center. Griffey roams over and puts it away for the out. The Dominican Nationals pick up a run on the home run and pull even. They'll go to the top of inning number three, and this game is tied. The numbers nine, one, and two spot do up now. Johnny Damon is due up second in the next half inning. He throws. A swing and a ball hit on the ground. Tejada has got it. And the throw is in time for out number one. At the plate. Center fielder. Damon will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. The first pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball to third. Ortiz has it. Throws the first and he's retired for out number two. At the plate, left fielder. Crawford comes in ready for his at bat. First pitch. Swing and a high drive. This could be trouble. And foul. Swing and a ground ball. At 
the plate. Jeter will step in. He hit a fly ball out his last time. Garrett. Jeter. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Ken Griffey Jr. comes up to the plate now. Last. That one swung on and hit in the air to deep right center field. Crawford rounds third heading home and he will score from second. At the plate Alex Rodriguez will be batting here. Last season he had just one home run. That swung on and line towards the gap in left center. Ramirez is there and he puts it away for out number three. We've got a moment here and let's go to fan mail questions brought to you by 2K Sports video games. Joe, what is the difference between a third and power? Here is the pitch. Good power curve there and he's ahead 0 and 2. Now he's ahead 0 and 2. He's got a few pitches he can play with. We'll try to get him to chase something out of the zone. And this is hit in the air to straightaway left. Crawford is there and he makes the catch. He swings under this one and the result is an easy out. Nobody on base with one out. First pitch to him. On the ground to short. Jeter is there. His throw. Not in time. That'll be an infield single. Ortiz will come to the plate. He lined out in his last attack. He's a good high ball hitter. He sees that pitch up in the zone and he blocks at it. As a pitcher, you've got to know the strengths and weaknesses of every guy you face. Pitch out, but nothing doing that time. Now he's probably run deep to right field, way back there. It's off the wall. Albert Pujol steps in now. Last season he had just two home runs. Swung on and lined to right field. Griffey is there to put it away. Two down. At the plate. Manny Ramirez gets a turn here. Last season he had just three home runs. With a career slugging average. Swing and a ball hit down the left field line. This one may have a chance. And foul. Well, he wants to get a big hit here. He's down by. There's a swing and a line drive to center field. Damon is right there and he hauls it in. At just two home runs all year. Only four RBIs last year. Got him to chase that outside pitch for strike one. Hey now, Albert. Let's go, Fiber. This way, this ball is hit high and deep. Straight away center. Still going. Oh, and it's off the wall. The throw to third. And he is safe at third. Just did slide in ahead of the play. Manny Ramirez he is up now. Last season he had just three home runs with a career slugging average of 599. Well, you see something new every day, Joe. That's the old bromide. But they're going to intentionally put him on here, bringing up one of the most feared hitters in the game today. Something. Swing and a fly ball down the left field line. Crawford is in his tracks and he makes the tag. The Dominican Nationals pick up a run. On three hits but are denied a big inning as they leave the bases loaded. We're through five here at the ballpark and we are all swings and lines this one back up the middle. The throw to second. Lee will be the batter. He doubled his last time. Runner at first, nobody out. He throws. Now here's the ball grounded towards the hole. There's the throw. Jason Varitek comes in. Last season he had just two home runs all year. Swing at a drive. Deep left center. Tavares glides over and makes the catch for the out. Tavares has it and the runners will have to hold at first and second. Now batting third base. Eric Chavez comes to bat here. 
three. Last season he had just two home runs. Got it. Here's a swing and a ground ball. There's one. And two. A double play. The Americans pick up no runs on two hits and they thank you for your patience. And once again, it's time for fan mail questions brought to you by 2K Sports Video Game. So here it is. Why is it harder to steal bases with a left hander on the mound versus a right hander? Well, for a great base stealer, John, it really isn't. I think it's easier to steal against a left hander because everything is right there in front of you. But for the average base runner, it's tougher because the left hander is sitting there looking at you and they can trick you with their moves. All right, Joe. Now let's get back to the game. First pitch, here it comes. There's a swing and a fly ball down the line and left. Crawford is there and he puts it away for out number one. He gets now under this one here. a bit and the left fielder is able to get there in plenty of time. Number 58. Tim. Olivo will grab a bat to let the hit him. And you have to figure he will be looking. He swings and it's a fly ball to right field. Griffey is there and he puts it away for the second out. Now batting. He gets too far underneath this thing. A routine fly to right for the out. Santana. He kicks, he throws. Line shot into center field. Damon makes the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this happening. On to the seventh inning we go. And this game is tied. The numbers 9, 1, and 2. Rodriguez will be coming into pitch. His ERA is phenomenal. That was a good pitch. It came in right where the catcher wanted it. There's a swing and a line drive. Tejada is right there to put it away. The back. Nathan the is going to have a. He shot to get something done right here. Just focus on making good pitches right here, John. Don't worry about the man on set. This is swung on and hit on the ground. That's one. And two. A double play. The Americans pick up no runs on two hits, and they stand just the one. On now to the bottom of the ninth, and this game is tied. Wagner is coming in now to pitch in relief. He is not much of a strikeout pitcher, that's for sure. First pitch on the... There's a swing and ground ball. A-Rod is right there. Over the first, four out number one. Olivo will be the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Now here's a swing and a ball hit on the ground. On the first, two down. I mean the bat, pitcher. Rodriguez. Step in for his first plate appearance of the day. First pitch to him. Swings and lines this one towards the hole. Lee puts it away and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this afternoon. On into extra innings we go. And we are all tied up. Top of the line. Cordero gets the call to come in and take over the hill. It's just been a nightmare for hitters every time this guy's on the mound this year. And this one's grounded to the second. Soriano is there. 
and he throws on the first for the out. One away. Crawford will dig in. He's had one hit in four trips. First pitch, here it comes. Now a swing of the ball hit high and deep into right center field. It's off the wall. The throw. At the plate. Shortstop. It was a fast pitch to have that much break on it. Derek Jeter steps into the box with a lifetime batting average of 314. In his career, he's knocked a total of a swing and a line drive. Tejada is there to put it away for out number two. At the plate, right fielder. Tough luck there. He hit it right on the screws, number but unfortunately, 30. right at and the shortstop. Two outs and a runner on second. He throws. Swing and a liner to right. Guerrero is right there. He puts it away. The Americans pick up a hit. We'll go to the bottom of inning number two. Hit in the air to center field. And that's a base hit as it gets down in front of it. Soriano will step in. Bounced out his last time. Nobody out. The runner at first. First pitch to him. And they pitch out, but nothing was going on there. The old one pitch, a fastball swung on a miss, 0 and 2. Big swing and a miss on a fastball, and he struck him out. One away. Ortiz will be the batter. Runner at first, one down. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a liner to left. Crawford lays out and makes a spectacular catch. Well, it was a tough call to make for the umpire, Joe. And uh, sure enough, he's got some uh, disagreement there. They thought that ball was tracked. Crawford may have just turned in our defensive play of the game here. Well, I know this will be tough to beat, John. Good jump on the ball. He really reads the ball well. And he reaches right off the bat and he's able to get himself in a position. He leaves his feet and makes a diving catch. Anytime the game is close, it's important to get strike one. The pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. Utley takes charge in this one and he puts it away for the end. No runs on a hit and one man left out. We'll move on to any number 11. And we are all tied up. Number five, six, seven spots due up. And there's a swing and the ball hit well into straightaway center field. Tavares is there and he puts it away for the first out. Lee will be the batter. Singled his last trip to the plate. Number 25, Derek. Now a swing and a ball hit on the ground. Tejada gets to it. This is a textbook play by the shortstop. Nice Number throw to first to get him out. First pitch, here it comes. Sinker swung on and missed. It's 0 1. Good hard side of that time. He's in control. 0 and 2. There's a swing and a ground ball. Tejada has it. He'll throw on the first, and the side is retired. 
That inning didn't last long. To the bottom of the 11th, we go. And this. Five, six, seven spots due up. Manny Ramirez is due up next, and you always have to be careful with him. And this is hit in the air foul down the left field line. And he swings and hits this one foul. Now here's the ball down towards the hole. Jeter picks it up. And his throw is in time for the first out of the inning. Will step in. He was thrown out trying to stretch a single into a double. And a swing and a ball hit on the ground. On the first four, out number two. Good reaction by the pitcher. He makes the play and throws on the first. Huge pressure now. You can almost feel it. Late game excitement and drama. There's a drive out into the left center field and deep. Still going. Solo homer. The Dominican Nationals come out victorious here, Joe. And these fans are going to head home happy. The home team gave them the happy ending. Well, they should be happy, John. Not only did they win the ball game, but they played well. And in the end, they wore their opponents down, so the home team goes away happy. Albert Pujols was instrumental in this victory. A low-scoring pitcher's battle. And he is our 2K Sports player of the game. It seems like we're always talking about Albert Pujols, and for good reason. This guy is one of the best hitters I have ever seen. If he has a weakness, I haven't seen it, and neither has his competition. He's just great. And Joe, this is one of those games that stretched deep into the night. Some great Major League extra inning baseball action. Now, for Joe.